Daniels. Hey. Hey. Let's get rid of that right away. How are you guys doing? Awesome. Awesome. It's a good vibe. Good vibe. Let's play a little game. You about that? Front row? Sort of front row? Can't really see. <laughs> a little game of who said it? Kanye or my mom? <laughs> guys fucking ready? Yeah. Awesome. I'm going to run for president in 2020. Who said it? Kanye or my mom? Both. <laughs> You're a piece of shit. Who said it? Kanye or my mom? Your mom. Actually, fuck, yeah, you're right. Uh, oh, God. <laughs> I fly a lot. Um, I recently went to China, which is pretty cool. I went with my grandparents. And I had one of those moments where I finally realized where my sense of humor comes from because we're going through Chinese security. And me and my grandfather were getting patted down by these really aggressive Chinese women. And he looks at me and he's like, man, I haven't been touched like that by a woman in years. I'm like, grandfather, they can hear you. <laughs> they didn't, they didn't understand, it's just a single thing. Lost so much of my stuff. <laughs> <laughs> I recently went to LA and I had a connecting fly in Dallas. And you know, like, how do I put this? As a flight attendant, there are certain vibes that you should give off to passengers, right? Like happy vibes, safe vibes, comfortable vibes, you know? The one vibe you don't want to give someone is a suicidal vibe <laughs> as a flight attendant, <laughs> which I got to experience. You know, I get on the plane and she's like, oh, hey, how you doing? I don't know, you picture what she looks like. Um, <laughs> get on the flight, and there's about like four people, it's a red eye, and you know, there's no one on there. And um, you know, this flight attendant decided to be a little funny, which was kind of scary in the end. And she, she gets on the intercom, and she's like, well, welcome to Dallas. We're about to go to uh, Los Angeles. If you guys have any uh, problems with our flight, with our service, there are four exits. Happens to be the same amount of uh, failed marriages. <laughs> Shit, no one hearing this? Nope. And in case of emergency, there's a flotation device underneath your seat. Weighs about the same as uh, one of my kids. No longer see him. Shit. Goddamn. <laughs> um, but once I landed in LA, I was in LAX. And LAX is it's interesting, to say the least. I'm waiting outside, I'm waiting for my ride, and this homeless guy comes up to me. He's like, you want a cigarette? I'm like, yeah, fuck yeah, I want a cigarette. So he gives me two cigarettes. I'm like, cool, walks away. So I start smoking one. Five minutes later, this guy comes up. <clears throat> Doesn't do that, but. <laughs> and he goes, hey man, can I have a cigarette? I was like, well, you just gave me two. So yeah, so I give him the other cigarette, walks away, comes back. And by that time, I have already eaten one of my weed brownies. <laughs> comes up to me, he's like, hey man, can I have one of those cigarettes? And I was like, shit, you only gave me two. <laughs> um, there's certain things, um, that you should tell your friends about someone you're dating before they meet them, you know? Like, they're a Republican, or, you know, in my case, if they're a nudist. <laughs> I went to my friend's apartment and he was like, hey, I just stepped out to go to the store, but just let yourself in. I was like, fuck yeah, cool. So I knock on the door, and his girlfriend just opens the door, no top on, just boom! And I was like, kind of like a deer in the fleshlight, like. <laughs> because like, what do you do? Like usually when like you walk in on someone, you're like, oh no, but like when they answer the door, it's like, oh shit. <laughs> 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 
She's really good at Xbox, though. I'll tell you that much. I smoke a lot of weed, and uh, I always love going to like the dispensary and seeing like the new people because they're all giddy. They're like, "Oh my god, <laughs> this is a what? A weed cookie? What?" Which is funny because like that's the same way I am when I go into a sex shop. <laughs> <laughs> I went the other day, and I walked in, and it's kind of intimidating a little bit. You know, there's just giant dicks everywhere, and just giant rubber pussies everywhere. <laughs> and I walk in, and there's just like, cute little innocent, like, blonde little chick, and she just comes up to me, and she's like, looking for the pocket pussies? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> saw these girls at the smoke shop and when they came in I immediately knew they were underage because they walked up and they were like we like we want something to smoke weed in and I was like oh shit <laughs> giving away your cover real quick <laughs> and the guy was like yeah whatever like you know they don't give a shit and uh, they're like oh can we get that and they point to this bong, and it's glorious. I want it. <laughs> so, I <was> like, <laughs> and so I was like, okay, there's no way they're going to get it. And they're like, how much is that? And, like, and the guy was like, $400. Just $400. And they're like, only $400? We're going to get it. <laughs> Immediately, my brain went from, oh, no, these underage kids are ruining their lives, to... I hope those bitches ruined their lives. <laughs> Especially when they got in the Escalade and drove away. Yeah. Burn all of daddy's money on drugs. <laughs> I got this Apple watch, and I thought of this new ad that Apple could do. It could start off like really sensual, you know? Like, the new Apple watch keeps you connected. But it's just like a bunch of fat dudes like me sitting on the toilet like, I forgot my phone! <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. This is a good crowd. You guys are fun. It's fun. I'm not looking at my arm for more jokes. Um, I kind of think TV shows do have this weird tendency to glorify really shitty jobs. Like, do you know how shitty it is to actually work in the Parks and Rec department? <laughs> or being a CSI? <laughs> I guess that's why they always cancel the shows with teachers on them, because they're like, there's no way we can make that better. <laughs> um, that was weird. <laughs> um, I, went to, I went to brunch with my friend and his girlfriend. And during this brunch, my friend's girlfriend's, my friend's girlfriend, he's not polygamous, um, my friend's girlfriend, girlfriends showed up and they all started talking. And mind you, my, my friend's girlfriend is a little bit older than I am. She's like about like 27. And so they're talking about like kids and everything like that. And one of them goes, yeah, you know, I just wasn't sure about this new girl. So I broke into my ex-husband's house just to double check there weren't any drugs before I took my kid over there. Oh. Right? Fucking oh my god, is what I said. I was like, whoa! And all these women were just like, good, good for you. You're doing the right thing. You're a good parent. I'm like, no! <laughs> She's a criminal is what she is. Um, <sighs> I have really shitty coworkers. And uh, god, they're fucking terrible. Um, when I got back from China, the one guy in the office who I hate the fucking most, <laughs> oh, the most, comes out to me and he says, the one thing that I could have expected, he goes up to me and he's like, so you just got back from China? I'm like, oh, fuck. Yeah, I did. You love Chinese food? <laughs> I don't like that guy. <laughs> when I became a comedian, he was like, oh my god, I didn't know, like, you were funny, you never talk in the office. And I was like, yeah, usually the 
guys who are going to be comedians in the office are the ones who are also probably going to shoot up the office. <laughs> so <laughs> you'll never hear me coming. Um, <laughs> God, he's the fucking worst. But the other person who is the worst in my office, Shannon. Shannon's the new tech girl. If you want to meet someone, it's clearly fake their resume. That's Shannon. <laughs> Shannon also likes the 80s. Loves the 80s. Also loves Disney. Also, thinks 9-11 was an inside job. <laughs> I was at lunch with Shannon, and we were talking, and she's like, oh my god, I'm going to throw an 80s party. And I'm like, that's great. She's like, Jao, you don't seem very enthused about my 80s party. Do you not like 80s parties? No, no, I don't. Well, why not? Because I was born in 1994. Yeah. <laughs> and she's like, oh my god, you're so young. You probably don't even remember what dial-up is. First of all, I'm 22, not 12. I know what fucking dial-up is. Also, she was talking about dial-up as if she was like an old person who experienced peace before the wars. <laughs> You'll never know. You'll never know what it's like. <laughs> Saw a donut at work. Right next to it was a box of donuts. <laughs> and it said, take one. You deserve it. And I go, fuck yeah. Totally deserve it. Because I was also really high at work. So I take a donut and I walk away. <laughs> <laughs> Behind me, I hear, what do you think you're doing? It's Shannon. Of course. I turn around, look her right in the eye, and I go, having the donut I so clearly deserve. Also, creeping the fuck out, Tito. <laughs> 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 I'm going to share with Daniels. I hope you have a good night. <laughs>